Dave Ridley here from NHFree.com. I'm going to just do a quick uh, runabout here and look at some of the tables here at Porcupine Fest at Gunstock. All the free staters coming out of the woodwork here to sell their wares and uh, get their points across. Hi, Beth. Hi. That's Beth. She's from Rhode Island. There are about 300 and I think 360 some odd people to be registered here today. Uh, this is uh, Charlie Hampy's booth. He is selling Liberty Dollars, which are an alternate currency made out of pure silver. They're designed to be a competitor for the United States federal dollar, which is, of course, not really backed by any metal. The Liberty Dollar is just made of silver, so it's got an intrinsic value. This is Bob Kingsbury here. He's running for Libertarian Congress. Ken Blevins, he's a Libertarian candidate also for, can uh, for Congress. That gentleman, I don't know. But, uh, lots of nice folks here. I guess this must be the Libertarian Party booth. And interestingly enough, uh, the Libertarian Party is uh, really just a small fraction of the activity that goes on in New Hampshire in, in a pro-liberty vein. All kinds of things happening that have nothing to do with the Libertarian Party. That's Don Lincoln over there on the right. She ran for state rep recently on the Democrat ticket, correct? True. Yeah. And uh, Sandy. Sandy, I've forgotten your last name. It doesn't necessarily matter. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I beg your pardon? An animal? Why? She's a young lady here asking me why I uh, have an animal on top of my camera. I don't really have a good answer for her. <laughs> but I appreciate all you being here. And I love that shirt. Taxation is slavery. It's funny, I, I've got the microphone aiming towards me right now, so I can't really talk very effective. I can't hear the people that are talking back to me very well. I'm doing all the talking, a little narration. So, I know I can rely on myself to keep my mouth flapping. Who knows whether anyone else will. How are you? Not too bad. Let's head over here to, uh, well, this is the Ron Paul booth. This is a very rare sight to see the Ron Paul booth unmanned. That is not common. There's actually another Ron Paul booth upstairs. That one has probably got some people in it. I just bought my second Ron Paul shirt uh, here today upstairs. And here I think they've got some really cool stuff. Uh, well, let's see. It says, okay, here we go. Uh, this is not that cool, but it's kind of cool. It says, out to lunch. We'll be right back. Okay, cool. Well, let's see. Okay, now this is something else that they have set up, the Ron Paul people. And I think this is interesting. This is like a, graf like a, a graffiti uh, collection. You can take this stuff and you can put it on phone booths and stuff like that and uh, get the word out about Ron Paul. All right, let's see. What else have we got going over here? There's more booths. How are you doing? Who are you, if I might ask? Uh, Jim Blackie. This is Jim Blackie. I'm sorry, Jim, I will not actually be able to hear your answers because I've got the microphone aiming at myself. But uh, you're, I take it you're selling real estate and so forth? No, actually, I Okay, so he's got a grassroots chamber uh, organization here. That's very cool. All right. Anyway, And your name again is Jim? All right, it's good to meet you, Jim. I'm going to keep moving. I'm rolling. All right. Cool. Let's see. What, we got, what else we got here? We have the uh, New Hampshire Citizens Homeland Security Association. Now, I'm not sure precisely. I don't know much about these guys, but uh, at some point I'm going to interview some of these folks. I'm going to stop the camera now because there's too much noise.